Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to finally be talking about that snowstorm that's possible for the northeastern United States. We're going to have a snowfall outlook. We're going to look at the model run as far as simulated radar and their snowfall outlooks. All sorts of exciting stuff coming up in this video. But before I get started with this one, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do think weather related content. And also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now let's get right into things. First things first, we're going to be looking at our little surface map that we've been using for quite a while now where I show you where the low pressure system is going to travel. That's that red line where we're going to see it travel from obviously from left to right, from west to east. Now let's add our first layer here and this is our white layer which is going to be low chance slash snow shower. So this is like the absolute maximum amount of space that I expect to be seeing snow. You can see New York City in that low chance with snow showers and a lot of areas in West Virginia, Western Virginia, Western North Carolina. So obviously there's a slim chance that these areas could see snowfall depending on what actually happens here. And this is, you know, minimal snowfall. I'm not talking three inches or anything here. I'm talking like seeing flakes for the most part here. So this is pretty minimal snowfall and low chance at that as well as maybe just being snow showers. Not very long time with snow falling out of the sky. Now for our second layer here, you can see this is our lighter blue. This is a moderate chance and could be major for these regions. So this is where we're looking at the potential for accumulating snowfall within these regions. You can see Cleveland, Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany, Scranton, New York City, Boston, Burlington, Portland, Bangor, and Holton. All of these areas are included in this moderate chance where it could be major, major with the exception of New York City there being south of it. You're only in that light snow chance with potentially only snow showers, you're going to be pretty close to that low pressure system, so I expect to see some mixing going on. Now, things are about to get very interesting as we add our third layer here, which is where we expect to see highest chance, and it could be major, so it could be just as major as the blue area, but this is where it's going to be very uh, high chance, or the highest chance, actually, that is, of this even happening so it's not necessarily a high chance in general but highest chance out of all of the regions of it happening and I'd say there's about a 60 to 80 percent chance that we do see snowfall of some sort within this purple region this one is you know we're pretty early on we're about three or four days away from this happening so we're just taking it with a grain of salt here showing you what the chances are and definitely there's going to be two or three updates on this one throughout the next few days and obviously the snowfall outlook is going to change a lot. So guys, I'm making this video on the 4th. If it is any time after the 4th, check my channel for updated videos because I'd hate for you to be watching an outdated video here and not be getting the latest information. So check the channel right now and make sure if it isn't on the 4th that you're seeing this. Now we're going to move on and look at our simulated radar from the European model here. Now the European model is one of the heaviest models with this storm, so we're going to be taking it hour by hour. And I'm sorry for the low resolution, it's really hard to get the rights to use the European model, so you kind of have to... Uh, you know, use certain websites and use certain types of data from the European model to even be able to use it in these videos. Now, we're going to be looking at earlier on the day on, uh, this is going to be Thursday the 7th, so this is going to be when things are just moving in, kind of noontime around on Thursday the 7th. And you can see there's a little bit of snow going on there just to the north of Columbus, and it, uh, the precipitation is moving into the state of Pennsylvania by this point. Now we're going to head into the evening of the 7th and you can see things really start to pick up here. We have moderate snow going on in Pittsburgh, Scranton, Albany, uh, and snow and mix just to the north of New York City and just to the north of Boston. It's probably mixing in Boston by this point. Now as we head into the middle of the night, you can see things have really moved into a New England special as Boston is right on the edge of rain and snow. This is why it's such a close call with Boston and some of those other cities. It's going to be very, very hard to tell until very close. Now, Albany and Portland were all snow by this point, so looking really snowy for you guys by Thursday night into Friday morning. And then by Friday morning, you can see Boston is all snow, and New York City, you mix at some point during the night, so it's going to be a close call. If this thing shifts a little bit south for you guys, New York City could be looking at snow here. We have snow showers going on throughout Pennsylvania and New York by this point, but really uh, Bangor and Portland and Boston are really getting the most snow by this point, as well as New Hampshire and some of the mountainous hilly regions of Massachusetts. It's a beautiful area out there, by the way. And by the time we're at midday on 
Friday the 8th. You can see Portland, Boston, Bangor still getting snow there. Moderate snow to heavy snow by this point. So coastal Maine looking to get a lot of snow. And then by the evening of Friday the 8th, you can see things have really started to move out by this point, And it's almost all said and done. Now, let's get into the really exciting snowfall forecasts according to all these models. I'm going to show you guys the European model, GFS model, Canadian model, and even the special icon model, which is a German model. Now, we're starting out with the European model, and you can see this one is the heaviest out of all of them. A lot of those blue colors are where we're expecting a half an inch to four inches of snow. And then in the purple regions is where we're expecting four inches to even 12 inches of snow in some of those regions in Massachusetts and Connecticut and Rhode Island, as well as coastal Maine. So again, this is the heaviest model with the snowfall, and I am going to be taking into account uh, future model runs, and you know we're going to see if this is going to look even more intense or if this is really going to taper off. So take it with a grain of salt. This is the heaviest model, and I'm going to have my actual snowfall forecast at the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that one, because that's actually what I'm forecasting to happen, obviously. Now here's the GFS model and you can see things are way further north on the GFS model. You can see mostly inland upstate New York and then inland New England there getting the bullseye. But still we see 6 to 10 inches of snow in the bullseye regions. So this is looking like a heavy snowstorm. We just don't know if it'll be for the interior regions or more of the coastal New England regions. That's really the big question mark and it's very exciting to try to forecast this stuff guys. Uh, when you like weather in the way that I do. I'm sure a lot of you enjoy weather like I do as well though. Now, here's the Canadian model, and this one looks a lot like the European model, just a little bit weaker here. So we're only looking at about three to six inches of snow here in those darker blue regions, but it is in the same locations that the European model was calling for. It's a very, very similar call here on the Canadian model. And then our icon model is something in between the GFS and the European model. You can see the more central regions in upstate New York and New England getting the heaviest snowfall, even coastal Maine getting that heavy snowfall. And we're looking at a general 4 to 8 inches of snow in the bullseye there in some of those purple regions. Now we're about to get into my official snowfall forecast, which is going to be super exclusive and super exciting. Let's get right into things and add our first layer. So you can see in this first white layer here, we have a dusting to 3 inches of snow expected all the way from Michigan down through Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Syracuse, Scranton, Al Albany, Boston, New York City. New York City, you're to the south of the dusting, so you're going to be looking at more of a dusting, if anything, for New York City. But Burlington, Portland, Bangor, all of us are looking at a good dusting to 3 inches of snow throughout this white region. And this is really where we're expecting snowfall in general throughout all these white regions. Now for our second layer, we have our three to six inch layer here. And you can see that this one extends from Cleveland up through Buffalo, Syracuse, and it's to the north of Scranton, but Albany and Boston are included in this, meaning that I'm expecting at least three inches of snow to fall for these regions. Again, stay updated with what I'm updating for my snowfall forecast. Be sure to check for newer uploads because I'm gonna be updating this one and by the time I've updated it, this forecast won't be valid anymore. So you're going to need to stay up to date with it. The 3 to 6 inch region also extends up through Maine. So Portland, Bangor, and Holton. Uh, Holton is a town near uh, Caribou. I'm more familiar with Caribou, but for some reason these maps uh, have Holton instead. But that's near the Caribou area. Now... You can see that all of interior New England and upstate New York have this 3 to 6 inch layer. There's an even bigger layer here, the 6 to 10 inch layer, which you can see extend through Albany and then areas in southern New Hampshire, so Concord, Manchester, uh, Laconia, all these regions are expecting to receive 6 to 10 inches of snow, so 6 inches plus basically. Portland, Bangor, and just to the south of Holton as well. So I'm expecting something pretty similar to an icon. The reason this is going to be the safest bet and why I think this is really what the models are going to agree upon is it's right in between the European and the GFS. So I think it won't be too far from where I'm forecasting it to be right now as far as the bullseye is concerned. Uh, if anything, I think it's more likely that it would go more inland than towards the south. But, you know, these November storms can sometimes be sneaky and sometimes surprise. I had one catch me off guard last year and actually overperform based on what I was forecasting. So I'm trying to not be quite as conservative this time, overly conservative here, and forecast for lighter amounts. I'm kind of trying to be more of a believer, but I'm not quite ready to go with what the European is showing with the 10 inches plus regions. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Be sure to share it with your friends and family on Facebook and all sorts of other social medias if you think they'll find it useful or interesting. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.